plug and play Bedrock to TM1 and all you need is to write one line of code to run highly complex functionalities regularly used by developers. Sounds neat, right? Bedrock for TM1 are modularized and reusable processes built from many years of TM1 developer expertise. The foundation of Bedrock is and has always been an open source project, which means not only is it free for anyone to use, but anyone can contribute to it. Bedrock contains libraries like copying data from one cube to another and clearing a section in a cube. Before Bedrock was available, if a TM1 developer wanted to write code to clear a section in a cube, the developer would have referred to a copy of the code written from a prior project and edited the code to fit, or write the code from scratch. This is a perfect example where a set of code should be modularized because there is a need to reuse the same functionality. Bedrock for Team 1 exists for this purpose. To show how Bedrock processes are modular, Take for example the process to clear data in a cube. By passing different values through the process's parameters, the same action can be applied to different targets. And the best thing? No extra coding is required to fit. For more information about Bedrock's modular approach, check out the white paper provided as a link below. Trialed and implemented for over many years in an array of projects in different organizations and industries globally, results have shown 30 to 50% reduction in turbo integrator coding. Increase scalability. Dramatically faster prototyping. Increased auditing and testing. Reduced development time. The model would be clearer to understand, therefore making it easier to maintain. Over 10,000 lines of code are contained within Bedrock. Let me show you how to set it up. First, head to this location and download Bedrock for TM1. I'll be using Bedrock version 4 that has been built to take advantage of hierarchies and temporary objects. Bedrock version 4 requires a minimum of IBM Planning Analytics version 2.0.6 which is equivalent to TM1 Server version 11.4. For companies that are already using Bedrock 3, you'll be able to just copy the files from Bedrock 4 onto your model and everything will just work. Careful consideration has been made to make sure version 4 has backward compatibility to version 3. Once a file has been downloaded and unzipped, the folder will contain files that end in .pro. These are Turbo Integrator Processors. To add these Bedrock Turbo Integrator processes to the Team 1 server, I need to stop the server. Next, copy the .pro files to the Team 1 data directory. Then start the Team 1 server. Once the server is up and running, the list of Bedrock processes will be found under Processes. Make sure control objects are displayed. Here, I'm using Arc for TM1 as my TM1 development tool. If you are comfortable in using Perspectives, Planning Analytics Workspace, or any other TM1 developer tools, you'll be able to access Bedrock processes there too. For those who are using a prior version of Bedrock, please go to code.cubewise.com forward slash Bedrock to learn about backward compatibility. Now that Bedrock is ready to go, let's go through an example. A common feature needed in every forecast or budget model is the ability to snapshot a set of data for future reference. I'll be snapshotting the combination of year 2019 and the version budget to the version my snapshot for the general ledger cube. To code this logic as a Team 1 developer, I would need to set up a view of the data to copy, process the view and read each record of the data, send the source data to the target, then clean up any temporary objects, 
Considering what's required, around 100 lines of code would need to be written, plus the time and effort to debug if it isn't written perfectly. With Bedrock, I can achieve this with just one line of code using the process bedrock.cube.data.copy. The key to using Bedrock is understanding what parameters are required. For this process, I'm going to use every parameter so it's clear what's being used. I'll start by creating a new process with the name My Snapshot. Because I want to run the Bedrock process once, I'm going to call the Bedrock process using the function execute process in the prolog section. With the inclusion of the execute process command in TM1, you can call another Turbo Integrator process. This helps to create self contained generic processes that do a specific work, much like a function. I'm going to filter the cube to the year 2019 and version budget. As for what I want to copy and where to, the element mapping parameter will be set for the version dimension, copying from budget to my snapshot. I don't want to suppress rules. And that's it. Save, then execute. Let's see how this is reflected in the general ledger cube. Budget has been snapshotted to my snapshot exactly as expected. Given that there is a large uptake of Team 1 globally, there exists an education gap that is ever widening. With this hunger for standards and experience, Bedrock is not just home for all these questions on how Team 1 works from the ground up or what the best implementation methodologies are. Uniquely, it is a quick start collection of assets to dramatically increase efficiency and effectiveness of your Team 1 system. By using Bedrock, Team 1 developers can spend more time developing other important business logics in a project. Head here to get your hands on the latest version of Bedrock for Team 1. And don't forget that Bedrock is an open source project with multiple developers contributing. Contribution from the community to add enhanced features is actively encouraged. So if you feel you can contribute, what are you waiting for?